Millions of Americans have and will hit the road this summer for the iconic road trip. No matter where you go, there are essential things to check off your travel list before leaving. And there's something cool from many. This thing just launched. Here to talk about all that automotive journalist and road trip enthusiast, Nick Miles. Nick, how you doing, sir? I am good. I'm uh, standing in the Atlanta sunshine, which uh, means it's going to be a hot day here and definitely time to get in the car and maybe enjoy some sights uh, around Georgia as I set off on my own road trip with Mini Takes Estates. Well, it's that time of year and you have five tips for a fun and safe road trip this summer. What are those tips? Well, the first one is make sure your vehicle is uh, set and ready to go. Uh, I always tell everybody, when was the last time you checked the uh, air pressure in your spare tire? Uh, most minis have run flat uh, tires in them, but if you have a spare tire, you want to make sure that your jack's in place, so those sort of things. So be prepared with your vehicle and make sure it's ready to take that long road trip. And uh, number two is first aid kit. You know, it may not just be for you, but uh, first aid kit could be there if you uh, need to render help to somebody else on the road. But you have to think about things that you would normally run to your kitchen cabinet for like a bug spray or a bee sting kit uh, make sure those are in your first aid kit as well uh, a big thing for me is bring extra water you never know when you could do something like blow a radiator hose it's not just for drinking you may have to uh, uh, need a little extra water along the way uh, mm -hmm. pack that uh, my biggest tip for everybody and this is, goodness me, if you have kids in the car, uh, Wi-Fi can be a lifesaver. <laughs> and most of the devices you can get for Wi-Fi now are free. You just add them to your data plan with your cell service, and it sure makes a big difference. And uh, number five is plan your trip out well, because there are some great apps out there where you can plan, plan, plan about where you're going to go and what you're going to see, like road trippers and waves and iExit and even Google Maps. You can plan where you're going, and it can show you some great things to do and some great things to see along the way. So it's all about preparing before you leave the house. It's not just about grabbing your wallet and your keys and sitting out. Yeah, Nick, you're right about having Wi-Fi in the car. The problem is I've got three kids. They all have to watch three different movies. So you know how much data I burn through on a road trip getting these, keeping these kids quiet? Uh, but I want to ask you real quick, do you have any advice for travel specific to the Midwest and I guess specifically Nebraska here in Iowa? Well, there are so, so many things in states that you probably didn't even know that you had in your own state. Uh, one of the things I always tell people is Road Trippers is my favorite website to go to. Uh, one of the reasons why is you select the sort of things that your family want to see. Uh, I made a recent road trip and I uh, was saying I wanted to see some historic things that I hadn't seen. Uh, when I planned my route out, I asked it to show me historic things along the way. And then it showed me like an old battleship that was uh, mm -hmm. sailed up around river that I could go and see. So there are a lot of things on these apps that you didn't even know existed in your own backyard that you can go and see. But also the best stop is the local tourist bureau. That's a big stop for everybody should be. Uh, they have a list of things that you can do and see in your own states where you don't have to travel far from home and that are open. Not everything's open all year round. And so you, you, can, you know about the sites that you can go mm -hmm. see in Nebraska or Omaha. You want to find out the things that you haven't seen before yep. and those are important and there are places like the local tourist bureau that are there to help you plan your trip. Nick uh, I, I hate that we're running out of time we've only got about a minute left I want to touch on two things real quick I want to ask you what Minnie's doing uh, the, the community of Minnie is doing this summer and also talk about the, the, uh, the biggest road trip of the country right now and what drivers can expect. Well, so we are doing something called Mini Takes the States. It is the uh, 10th anniversary for Mini Takes the States. 4,200 miles, 18 states. You'll find that we'll be visiting 14 cities, and uh, there will be 1,400 Mini owners <laughs> that will be starting out here in Atlanta and going all the way up the eastern seaboard, across the Great Lakes, and down the west coast. And this is all in part to help raise food for Feeding America, which is the largest uh, feeding organization in in North America. 48 million Americans go hungry every year. That's one in seven. And especially in the summertime when kids don't have school breakfasts and lunches, we're trying to raise uh, 800,000 uh, meals 
for those kids and for adults and seniors who don't have enough food. You can always go to minitakesthestates.com to find out about the road trip and find out where it goes, uh, meet us along the way, say hello, and at the same time you can always uh, look at how much money we've raised mm -hmm. and donate as well. So Mini Takes the States kicking off, it's going to be 15 days of uh, around 100 hours of uh, <laughs> doing this road trip and I might have a very numb backside by the time I reach Palm Springs. <laughs> well Nick, it's a great cause though, but I would love to be sitting on the inside of the interstate when all those minis go by. Thanks for your time this morning and good luck on the trip. Thank you, sir. All righty. Mary, over to you.